All right, I'm amped. This is my uh, Rails tutorial. I've been doing Rails for, yeah, doing Rails. I've been uh, using Rails for about a year, less than a year, probably like nine to 10 months. And uh, I hate to be that guy, but we're gonna build a blog today. So I suggest you start with, oh God, I went past it. Use RubyMine. It makes it really easy to set up. But once you have RubyMine all set up, you can just start a Rails application. It's super simple. It makes it so unbelievably simple. And then you just press play, you open up your browser to this and you'll see, yay, you're on Rails. Awesome. Anyway, it's time to get started. What, what, what's the first thing we wanna know about Rails? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a model. A model is just something to hold our data from the database. And when we create a model, we're going to be taking a, excuse me, we're going to be taking a database, um, what's it called, a database uh, table like this, and we're going to be converting it to a Ruby object. That is how Ruby on Rails works, and most web development things. So how do we create a model? model? Well, you open up your ter terminal, make sure you're in the root of your uh, project directory, you do rails g model our model name is going to be called post we're going to have a title string of type string and we are going to have a content field of type text alternatively you could do this if it is string you don't have to really specify you can just leave it off that will create a migration Get out of here. I usually don't do Rails on this laptop, so, oh, okay. So we see, we, oh, so what is a migration? A migration is a, um, it's a way of changing our database. So we'll have a bunch of various migrations just to keep track of our database when we build it. So we created the table, it's called post will be our model name. This is just saying it's going to be of data type string. And it's going to be called title, data type text. It's going to be called content. To migrate our database, my, to put this mic to, oh yeah, what is it called? Putting this migration over, I don't know. To send this migration over, we do rails db colon migrate. It'll take a little while. So we have our migration written. Create post migrated. If we want to see the current state of our database, we can come to schema. We see this. And if we want to access our model, you come to app, you go to models, post. We're, right now we're gonna be working in this. Now that we've had our post created, we're gonna create some validations for it and write some tests, test-driven development. So come over to test, go to models, do a post test. So test-driven development, um, you're supposed to like write the failing test first and then clean up your code so that the test passes. And that is what we're gonna work on today. Sorry, I don't know why I'm brain farting. So first we're gonna set up our post at post equals post.new title new post and we'll have content of hello world classic. If you don't start Something with hello world, you're literally just not coding right. Um, next, we're gonna write our test. So we, we do that by the invoking the test method, which takes the name of the test and a block. So our test is gonna be post has title do. Then we're gonna alter the post we created in setup, and we're gonna set its title equal to nil. And then we're going to do assert at post dot valid 
question mark. So the valid uh, operator returns a Boolean, true or false value, if our post will be accepted to the database. Now to run this test, I hate how I always say now when I'm doing YouTube videos. I don't know why I do it. So we're going to do Rails test models backslash. Wait, no, nope, we have to do well. I spell Rails test test backslash models backslash post underscore test dot rb. We'll run this. I don't know why I'm getting that little warning. I never develop on this. So usually I would. Um, so it is valid, but we don't want this to be valid. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't want this. So we need to assert not that our post is valid. So now we should get a failing test. But anyway, usually I like to split screen these, but because we're on YouTube, I don't want to split screen because I want you to be able to see the whole screen. So, all right, we got our failing test. So the post has no title. We want this to not save. So this returns false. So assert not is the opposite of assert. So if this gets a true value, assert not makes it false. And if it gets a false value, assert not makes it true. So assert not just is the opposite of assert. It inverts whatever value you pass it. So now inside of our post, we're going to do validates title your presence true. We'll run our test one more time. And now our test is passing. Voila. All right. Let's say we don't want, I'm not going to test every time and do the whole TDD thing just because I've done this so much and I don't think it's going to slow down the video. So I'm just going to write a bunch of tests and write the validations in right after. Post is post title is not to at post dot title equals a times 255 we'll do 200 so it's just gonna be 200 a's assert underscore not at post dot valid question mark and then what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna do length we're gonna set a maximum our maximum should be well, we want the maximum to be 200. So 200, our pet test should be passing. And just to show the point, I'll comment this. I know I said I wasn't gonna do it, but like, see, one failure. If we look at our failure, it says, failure, post test is not too long, expect a true value to be false. We can click there and it'll bring us to the line where our test fails. All right, we're going to basically do the same thing with the, oh geez, I didn't mean to do that, with the content test, content is present. You don't have to do all capitals for your test names, I just prefer to. At post.content equals nil. We're going to assert not at post.valid. See, I'm so in the habit, like I can just feel it's wrong for me to for me to do this the way. I, so we're just going to do it the real way, where you write a failing test and I show you it fails and it corrects it. Um, so we got to fail. We want this test to pass. How do we make it pass? We do validates. You access the field on the model as through a symbol, which is the same name as the field. And we're going to do presence true. Test one more time. Now, I don't know how long post could be, so we're not going to do too long. We're not going to do put a maximum length requirement. We're actually going to do a minimum length. Oops, I'm in the terminal again. Content is long enough. Do 
at post.contact equals a oops a times nine. So there's gotta be at least ten characters in our post. Assert underscore not at post valid question mark. If you're not familiar with this syntax, the question mark just says it's returning a true or false value. So valid is just checking with our database saying, hey, can this model be saved? If it can, it returns true. If not, it returns false. Test again. See, this will fail. So we go in, we do length, set a minimum, oops, minimum, which will be five. Content is not long enough. What the heck just happened? Oh, we'll do 10, sorry. Ah, now we got a passing test. All right. Um, so that is it for, I don't know how long this video is, but you know what, we can do stuff with our our inside of our model. So let's say we wanted to do like a preview of the first whatever characters. We want to give a little sneak peek on the web page of what our post content looks like. We're going to create a method for that inside of our post. It's going to be called truncated content. And inside this method, we are going to do, we're going to call the truncate Oh, I forgot the name of the method. All right, well, sorry. I wasn't expecting to do this. And I don't want this video to be too short. But um, if you're not familiar with objects and this is confusing you, this whole syntax, I would definitely check out my Ruby videos on objects. But in the next video, we're going to use the truncate method and we're going to get started with controllers. I hope to see you there. Adios.